Hey everybody, it's Bruce. So the winter is coming, at least for us in the Northern Hemisphere, and that means a lot more riding your bike in the dark. For me, I lost my light that I used last year, so I needed to buy a new one. Yesterday I stopped by the store and happened across this Nog, Nog Blinder Mob Mr. Chips V. Now, I didn't, never heard, I've never heard of this company before, and by the way, they're not paying for this, uh, this review, unboxing review and test. Now this isn't the cheapest model. This one cost me 45 Swiss francs, which is about $45. Uh, I just needed a light and I thought I would go ahead and share my experience with it. So first let's take 30 seconds or so and take a look at the company behind this light. Right away looking at the website you get the impression that they're, uh, you know, it looks like a pretty legit company. They have some videos. It's, uh, if you look at the bottom it says it's an Australian based company out of uh, Melbourne, Australia. I don't really know the difference, but I did notice one difference was, this is the one I got by the way, the one difference I noticed was that this uh, Mr. V seems to boast that it has a higher viewing angle than uh, the uh, maybe the other ones, 120 degrees. So what's an interesting claim that uh, Nog has is that you can be seen from at least 1.2 kilometers away, day and night. But I'm going to test this later on tonight and see if we can actually get that visibility at night. But um, about the light itself, here's some specifications and the time which you can use the light for varies between two hours and up to 53 hours. It's how I say the, the, the weight of it is 39 grams, which we'll also test in a few minutes. Um, okay, let's uh, go ahead and start this unboxing. All right, here we go. So it looks like you're supposed to open this bottom tab. Okay, there we go. I don't know if I'm doing this wrong, but this doesn't seem like the easiest thing to open. There we go. Hang on. Here we go. Here's something. Quick start guide. This is the smallest quick start guide I've ever seen. Check that out. That's pretty funny. <laughs> but that's nice. You do have a quick start guide. Maybe we won't need it, hopefully. And now we finally have the product. I believe these are extra um, straps for different size seat posts or wherever you plan on uh, mounting it. But here's the light itself. Oops, don't know why that came off. So how does this how does this locking mechanism even work? I think this hooks on there, like that. This must go around here. Probably that's not made to be coming off all that often. Yeah, there we go. And so I guess, I don't know if that's meant to like rotate or, I, I don't think so. I think it's just a hand, it's just like a, a handle so you can, you know, pull it around your seat and hook it on. Okay, that's all right. Here's the USB, which is kind of interesting location for it. I did read somewhere on the website they said it's, you know, it's supposed to be durable, so we'll see. And by the way, I did read somewhere, I don't remember where, that I think you get a two-year warranty with this. We'll see if this holds up and I will use it almost every day throughout the winter. Okay, it looks like the, the button to operate it is right here in the back and I believe there's also two, yeah, lights on either side there. Yeah, that's pretty bright. You know, you can't, it's hard to tell on the video how bright it is, but you wouldn't want to look directly at that at, at um, two feet away. Okay, so the first mode I'm guessing is the steady high. I have to be careful not to look directly into that because it will really hurt your eyes and like you'll be seeing red lights everywhere. Right now we're on steady high mode. Let's switch it to, which should give you two hours of use. And by the way, I didn't charge this yet. I just turned it on. Uh, then let's run steady low. Okay, that should give you 5.5 hours. It's still very bright. Uh, next is 2.7 hours, you can do strobe. Okay, I usually like to use strobe because, you know, people can see you better and also uh, you get more battery life. And fancy flash gives you just a bit more time. Yeah, that's kind of fancy. And then the last one is Echo Flash, which you get a whole 53 hours. I mean, that is huge, hugely different. I'm not sure which mode I'm going to use. Uh, perhaps I'll use the strobe. 
Maybe I'll even just use the echo flash because, you know, I'm going to use this like every day and I don't want to have to be charging every few rides. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like outside. And then, of course, you hold down a few seconds to turn it off. I guess we don't really have anything more to say today. Uh, later on this evening, we'll go outside and give it a try. So they claimed on the on the package that you can see this light from one kilometer or 1.2 kilometers away, depending on where you read it, uh, in I think any light condition. Right now it's dark, but we do have some uh, lights on this bike path. So let's go ahead and set the tripod up and see if we can actually see it from, well, I don't know if this is a kilometer away. I'll put it down at the bottom of the screen, but it's, uh, it is what it is. Maybe it's 500 meters, maybe it's a kilometer, I don't know. Let's see how it looks. Well, in the end, I kind of failed to prove whether you can see this at 1,000 meters away. Uh, I tried to use the camera, but the camera doesn't really equal your eye. So I ended up having all the way zoomed at 55 millimeters on the lens, and then it's four times zoom in the, in the video itself, uh, and you can still see it. Uh, anyway, I think it's, it's sufficient to say that it is a very bright light, as bright as you'd want it. In fact, I wouldn't even want it any brighter. It could be too bright for people on the road. Um, we'll just leave it at that. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye.